All right then, gang, so currently anyone can come to our website and order a pizza, and that's absolutely fine. I want anyone to order a pizza, but anyone could also go to forward slash pizzas and see a list of all the pizza orders. Now, ideally, I'd only want Pizza House employees or workers to be able to see this list so they can go ahead and make the pizzas and not anyone that comes to the website. So I need to introduce some kind of authentication system to force people to log in if they want to see this page and also the order details page. So how are we going to do that? Well, fortunately, Laravel comes ready baked with a complete authentication system. So we just need to figure out how to use it. Now, if we take a look at some of the files already created, for example, the migrations, we can see we have user migrations. We also have a user model set up right here. And we also have a user table in our database. So a lot of this backend is already set up for us. And we just need to create some kind of front end for it as well so that we have a login page, a register page, etc. Now, you could do all of this from scratch if you really wanted to, but it's much easier to use a UI package which can boilerplate all of this for us. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to install this UI package using Composer. So I'm going to say Composer and then we need to require and it's Laravel forward slash UI. So this is going to install the UI package for us. All right, so once we've done that, we can then use that UI package to boilerplate some front end for us. And it works in conjunction with either Vue or React or Bootstrap. We're going to use Vue, but really we're not going to dive into Vue. So don't worry if you don't understand what that is. All we're going to do is say PHP artisan and then UI, then Vue hyphen hyphen auth. And this is going to boilerplate a lot of different things for us. OK, so it's asking us to do a couple more things before this is complete. So first of all, npm install. So we'll do that. And then finally, npm run dev. And then this is going to boilerplate all those extra front end files for us. All right, then. So now that's all installed, what exactly has it created for us? Well, first of all, it's generated a load of different views for us. So if we go into resources down here and then go into views and then we can see this new folder called auth. And in here we have a load more views for authentication, things like a login view, a register view, etc. And we also have this home view at the bottom as well. And that acts as some kind of dashboard for when a user first logs in. So we have all of those new views. It's also added some stuff to our routes file as well. So if we open that, we can see this thing right here, auth and then the routes function. And this basically generates a load of routes for us behind the scenes to do with authentication. So it's going to look like this, but loads more behind the scenes. This just looks a little nicer and it generates those for us. We also have this route at the bottom for forward slash home and the home controller controls this route and we have this name thing which we're going to learn about later on as well. So this home controller, if we go to the top in HTTP and then controllers is right here and all it's doing is saying, OK, I'm going to return the home view, but we use some middleware and that is the authentication middleware. Don't worry about this. We'll learn about this middleware later on. But essentially what this is doing is making sure a user is logged in before we return this view for the home screen. OK, so now if I close this off, we can go ahead and try this out in the browser. So let's go over here and now I'm going to refresh. And in fact, I'm going to go to the home screen first of all. And now we can see these two things in the top right, login and register. So if I go to register now, then I can register as a new user. So let me do this. Mario at and it's going to be pizza house dot ninja. And oops, that's the email address. So let me paste that in down here. And the name is going to be Mario. The password test one, two, three, four, test one, two, three, four and register. And now I am logged in and this is the home route. So this is the home view that we're seeing here. Just a little dashboard that says you are logged in. Now, if I want to log out, I can do by coming up here, log out, and then I can log back in if I want to. So I'm going to say Mario at and it's pizza house dot ninja. 
and then down here test one two three four and log in and that works I'm going to log out again and I'm going to try to register again and this time I'm going to say Luigi the email address I'm going to use the same email address just to show you something and the password is test one two three four test one two three four so if I try to register we get an error and it says this email has already been taken so two things to notice here first of all it's good that our emails for each user have to be unique and this is defined on the migration file for users so if we take a look in here we can see that the email must be unique so that's built into the authentication system secondly we get this error automatically we've not had to do any error handling whatsoever it's all built in to laravel for us so that is really nice anyway that's basically the login and register system okay so that's all set up for us dead dead simple to do now there's a couple of things bugging me mainly at the minute our site looks like two websites in one because we have this kind of header right here for part of it and we don't for other parts of it so for example if we go to pizzas over here we don't have that. So I kind of want to bring everything together and we'll start that process in the next video.